Now we're going to construct a three octave scale. And um, the reason why I teach this is there's many reasons in this one. This is, this is a great scale to connect the neck and also gives you more opportunity to play your blue scale mixed in with your minor scale. The minor scale lays right on top of the blue scale. But instead of utilizing this note here, your B note, as we do on our three octave scale, you should know this before uh, going on to the three octave E minor scale, you should familiarize yourself with the three octave blue scale. But we'll be, instead of utilizing our B here, we'll be using, utilizing our B here. And so the purpose of this is to use all our fingers and use all of the neck. So rather than having just little box areas that we move from, our box now becomes our whole neck. So this is a great trick that uh, I've actually taught to professional guitar players. So here we go. Uh, we're going to construct this now, and we're going to start with our open six string. So here we go, open six string. Now you're going to fret it at the second fret with your first finger. Now you're going to fret the same string, second finger, third fret. Now you're going to fret the fifth string, I mean, I'm sorry, fifth fret, with your little finger, string finger number four. So here's what we just did. All right, now we're gonna switch to the fifth string. This is the hard one. We're gonna start with our first finger on fret two. Then we're gonna put our second finger, fret three, fifth string. Now we're gonna use our third finger, fret five. And now we're gonna use our little finger, lift these fingers up too. You lift up fingers number one and two as you continue on. And we're gonna now use our little finger for, uh, uh, to complete this section of our scale. So here's what we just did. Okay, there's no sliding. You have to use that finger in that situation because in the future we're gonna, we're gonna become faster at this. You have to use alternate picking. You have to use one finger per fret, no sliding. Okay, so now we got the first part of our scale done on strings number six and five. Now we're gonna go to string number four. We're gonna use our first finger on the fourth fret. And then we're gonna use our second finger on fret number five. Our third, our little finger, is gonna be on fret number seven, okay? So then we're gonna switch strings again. We're going to string number three, and we're gonna put finger number one on the fourth fret, uh, string number three. Same string, uh, fifth fret, finger number two. Third finger on fret number seven, and little finger, string num finger number four on your ninth fret. Now you're gonna to go to string number two and string number two will be uh, finger one on the seventh fret, finger two on the eighth fret, little finger, finger four on the 10th fret, switch strings again. We're gonna now go to the first string, seventh fret, first finger. We're gonna put our second finger on fret eight, first string. And now we're gonna go to our 10th fret, finger three. And finally, we're gonna finish on the uh, 12th fret, string one. So here's what we did. All right, now, alternate picking comes into play here. We have to use alternate picking because that's the only way we're gonna develop speed in the end, okay? So now we went all the way to the top go down now. So we went up in pitch, use, utilize the same fingering. You're gonna go back down the same exact way because it's important for speed in the future. Now watch. Now you might have noticed how we did not detour from the fingering. It has to be that way because that's how you're gonna get speed in the future. So that's your three octave E minor scale. Once again, practice this many times. It's gonna really develop finger strength and make you a better guitar player and learning your whole neck. This is Sean Staples. Practice a lot, get good, and watch our videos. Please subscribe, have a great day.